Hi guys, and welcome back to our Star Wars Resistance recap show, Viva la Resistance. I am, as, uh, no, not as usual, but kind of usual, the host uh, for today, half Case Cornelissa. Half the time, exactly. Uh, joined by the other host of the show, Chris Delman. And we are here today to uh, review the ne- uh, the newest episode of Resistance, Sonara's uh, Score, which uh, just continues right off uh, last week, where uh, Sonara, this girl, was uh, rescued by Cass, and now she, uh, well, we we saw last week she isn't all what she uh, what she mm. seemed to Cass, and uh, now she is uh, already stirring shit up on uh, uh, on the Colossus, uh, so. Yeah, let, let's just get into this. Chris, what were your thoughts on the episode uh, this week? <laughs> <sighs> Continuity. <sighs> Smart <laughs> villains. <sighs> A pleasant setup for what's sure to be an actually awesome season finale. No, so... Again, this is not a filler episode. This is a plot episode. Like, this is a serious plot episode. Oh, yeah. And, you know, again, another reason why I'm just digging this show. It's... And like you and I said, we kind of know where the show is going to go now. Oh, you called already a couple of things. Yeah. and I'm. But here's the thing. This is the kind of thing where I called it, but I'm happy I called it. Mm-hmm. So, yes. Yeah, no, you're right. We see, uh, well, in this episode, we see uh, Sonara uh, doing her thing for the pirates, where she is just reporting in uh, to the pirates, saying, "Okay, uh, you you can attack now because the aces are gone, the turrets are not not yet functional." Um, pretty action heavy episode. Yeah. Wasn't really expecting that, but uh, welcome surprise. Was good action at least. Uh, interesting to see uh, how. Uh, how the team solved it of course Uh, also a nice dynamic with uh, once again Tam uh, and Sonara Uh, those two uh, have a couple of moments which I thought were nice Um, and heck just uh, just having a more Tam centric episode that was really a a welcome change of pace because I I instantly now have way more like a, a, a much stronger liking for her after this no, that's, episode. That's very true. Also, Niku is uh, <laughs> put in a spot. <laughs> uh, that that was just it was funny. You can't you can't you can't talk. <laughs> yeah, that that that, that was Niku uh, this episode. Um, because well, J- Jaeger said he can't talk, so he literally uh, made sure that he uh, didn't say a thing. Up until the moments that he was actually allowed by the rest of the game. <laughs> and then it was totally uh, quiet. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, no, that that was funny. Oh. Um, I mean, N- Nico's just a good comic relief for the show. And uh, uh, I do think that, that the show needs it sometimes. Uh, and yeah, uh, Tam is actually show, well, more of the human character. She's a very human character, very relatable. Like, the things she does are things that I do or you would do, or anyone would do, uh, which may, uh, makes it very nice, because Kaz is a little wacky and crazy sometimes. Uh, Tam brings it down to earth for me, essentially. A yeah. little. <laughs> uh, T- Tam is just the, a very relatable, good character. Um, Absolutely. A little. Uh, I'm not really sure who I'd compare her to like in Rebels. Like, uh, at well, times, Hera. But, but that's the thing, though, is that Hera was always so... You know, her character essentially, I hate to say this, but like who she was as a person never changed throughout the show. Whereas Tam, as we're peeling back the layers, you're understanding more about about her character and why she is the way she is. True. Yeah. Okay. To, to be fair, uh, I do think Tam is a little bit younger, uh, less experienced uh, than Hera uh, in this case. Um but yeah, at, at least for me in Rebels, uh, I thought Hera was always the more down-to-earth type of character compared to Ezra, uh, Ezra Chopper and Zeb being completely wacky, uh, Sabine being the cool one with the guns and whatnot, and Kanan being the Jedi. So it always, like, that crew balanced each other out, and I do think we see the same here, where Jaeger is this uh, is essentially the Kanan of the group, 
the older guy uh, who's uh, the ma- who's sort of master position. Uh, Nico is the comic relief. Uh, Cass, the main character, but a little bit wacky at times, and then Tam, the more uh, toned down. So I do yes. think like we're we're seeing uh, more of like uh, the group as who they are. Uh, I'm starting to learn that now a couple of episodes in, which we should. Um, and I'm liking that dynamic between all of them. Except we're still not getting any real time with Bucket, and that does bother me just a tad. Uh, I want to get to know him. This 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 is true. Now that you mention it, I didn't really realize that, but we'll get there. We'll, we'll get there, I I think. Um, anyway, and then at the end, of course, um, when the pirates uh, actually get the turrets against them and they have to retreat, uh, then Doza turns to the First Order. So he turns to the First Order to get rid of the pirates, and that will set up for more. Which doubles down on. on my point about smart villains. That's how you successfully play someone. Because oh yeah, the First Order comes comes to him, and they're like, "Hey, listen, buddy, we just want we just want some of your resources in return. We'll give you some protection." And but they go to the pirates and they're like, "Hey, listen, we just want to take over the galaxy, so you're gonna help us out. You're gonna bug this guy, so he comes running to us." But yeah, no, they're, like, they're, that's, that's smart writing because the first order is playing it smart. Yeah, sure. Because let, let, let's be honest, if this was Le- if this was rebels, they wouldn't let the empire do that. Oh no, well. um... That actually, okay, that, that brings me to my next point. In in Rebels, we had something a little different with uh, Agent Callus. I mean, Agent Callus was pretty smart, actually. However, he turned to the Rebellion. And that brings me to my next point, which was actually like, uh, well, you called it kind of last week. Sonara is probably not going to follow through. Um, Sonara definitely seems like the Callus type of character. She is with one party uh, at the moment, but... Uh, well, first of all, for the sake of appearances towards Kaz and Tam, uh, but also because probably she is realizing, yeah, those pirates are nice, and Kaz and Tam are, and, you know, nice people win sometimes. <laughs> so, yeah. but uh, y- you called it last week. You, you need to t- uh, tell me more about your thoughts on Sonara, I think. <laughs> I like her. Plain and simple. Like I, I like the character design. I like the way that she's portrayed. Um, I did. Now this is just a a, a me thing. Um, a couple of lines of dialogue that she said, as well as Tam and um, and Yeager, as well as Captain Doza. Like there were just a couple takes that I think, or just a couple of lines, just that I feel like were just the first take, and then they moved on. It's like, could she have done it just a little different? And that's just and that's just a super nitpick. Just like a quick super nitpick out of the way, but otherwise, yeah, no, I, I'm liking this character, and I'm really excited for where they're gonna wind up taking her because I think there's, there's something to be said where, like, and like you said about Callus, she could wind up, you know, maybe uh, being one of those those side characters who, sure, they don't get a lot of screen time, but when they do, it's for always for a good reason and. You know, as also as we saw in the episode, she's very tech savvy herself. So, that she is. Maybe yeah, no, she could be a good ally to have for you know future episodes. Well, she already proved herself in this episode. I think uh, just giving some parts uh, to Tam and uh, Cass, uh, which they they of course accepted. Uh, but yeah, like what what happened with Callus was um, in the episode, the honorable one, season two. Uh, of Rebels, uh, great episode, and episode. that that episode showed to Callus that the Imperials they don't care about you, they only care about themselves, and everyone is there for themselves. And the Rebels actually fight for a cause, fight for others. Uh, want, uh, yeah, they they want to make friends and want the galaxy to really be at peace. He learned that. He learned that there are actually nice people out there. Um, that is not the Empire, of course. And I think that Sonara kind of learned that with this one. She learned that there are nice people in Cass and Tam. And she actually likes that. Uh, and you saw the realization uh, towards the end of the episode in her face. And it was really nice to see. In my Which, opinion. again, 
I'm glad they didn't overblow that. I'm glad they kept that subtle. Yeah, it's subtle. Because, so that's good. And because, again, it's going to pay off later on in the season when it actually counts. True. Yeah, and I'm... Uh, especially after this episode, where it was pretty action-heavy with the pirates attacking the Colossus, I can't wait for an episode which I'm pretty sure we're going to get towards the end of the season, where it's just going to be a full-blown attack with pirates and First Order and Resistance and the Colossus people. Oh my That's going to be awesome, That's and I can't wait for it. <laughs> like, like, so, I yeah. said, and like, like I said time and time again, that's going to be our first season finale, and it's going to be awesome. And I'm very curious where we move to after. <laughs> and plus, well, the other reason I'm really looking forward to that it's because a big scale battle in this style of animation, oh, that's going to look cool. Because this is by far the one of the best looking episodes. Uh, I loved, uh, again, I love the way the ships move, and I love the textures and the details, the, the little things that just make this world pop. And I think that's kind of my final thoughts, actually. Yeah. I uh, I think we're we're there essentially. So okay. that that list leaves me to guys. What do you think of this episode? Please let us know in the comments below. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, Chris, where can people find you? You guys can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Stardust at Skywalker Doman. You guys can follow this very channel dedicated to art on Twitter and Instagram at D Two A Channel. Please like our Facebook page. Uh, you'll find me hosting uh, the Who Cares Anime podcast. Uh, I know we've been uh, on break for a little bit, and that's because I've been at work. But um, we will be back through the end of the year. And uh, starting next year, we're going to start changing things up a little bit there. So just stay tuned there. It's going to be interesting, for sure. I know that we have plans. Big plans. So check that out. And uh, as for me, well, you can find me at Dutch Movie Guy on Twitter, Case Cornelius on Facebook. And check me out on Multiplex Entertainment, where, uh, well, we are in uh, the team final uh, pretty soon. And I am going up uh, against two other competitors in a number one contender match soon. So check that out when I get there. Uh, that was it for this episode. So I will just say, viva la resistance. May the force be with you, always. <laughs>